You know what'll keep that from happening? What? The right wing push rod. Hey, now. <laughs> you chill with that. I'm just letting you know <laughs> that you're actually fixing multiple problems of it. Yeah, that's fair. What's up you guys welcome back to Brittany Automotive obviously the same Brittany Automotive just different scenery I know you guys are wondering why I didn't post last week I obviously have been moving so I've been getting used to my new job and a whole new place but I finally jumped back into the ugly stepchild after a few days and I believe we have found the issue that's wrong with it now before I start any of this obviously I need to say thank you to my sponsors Holly EFI, Jags, Motul, Smallwood Race Development you guys are the reason that this thing happens and I appreciate you guys Let's get right into it. I got schooled on push rod and rocker arm geometry, and I failed when I came to measuring my push rods. Before I get into the math of all of that, when we took off the rocker arms on cylinder one, you could actually see the grooves, the studs were rubbing into it. So obviously that was a huge issue. If the car is still missing cylinder one, this was still a huge issue that was going to come up no matter what. Another thing to mention, one of the valves were definitely being hung open, and that was because since the push rods were so short and we went to go do the half turn after we set zero lash on them, then it would just push the spring down itself already because it's already so low that it would just hang the valve open all the time. So if you guys want to watch the old video of how I measured my push rods, this technically is not the incorrect way, it's just not the exact way. I would recommend doing the math versus the feel method that I did. Obviously, when you're measuring your push rods, you want the rocker arm to be riding right in the middle of the valve tip. When I measured it, it was. But when you do the math, it doesn't necessarily mean that it needs to be right in the center of the valve tip. It needs to have less travel, which I was unaware of, so. All right, now bear with me because here comes the math and I hate math too. So I'm gonna make this as easy as possible, like as easy as I possibly can. Get your cam card out. Please tell me you have a cam card. If you lost it, bad idea you're gonna look for the gross valve lift. Mine is 0.596, and that's because of my rocker arm ratio and all that. So once you have that, you're gonna divide it by two. If you have a 7 16 stud, that means you're gonna have 20 threads per inch on that stud, and your number is 0 0.05, so five thousandths. And If you have a 3 8 stud like I do, that means you have 24 threads per inch and your number is 0 0.042, which is 42 thousandths. So now take your gross valve lift, divide it by two, then take that number and divide it by which stud you have. In my case, that is 7.09, which is about seven. So that's gonna be how many times you rotate the poly lock once it's on there. This next part is certainly more complicated than the first method that I used, but it's a lot more accurate. So you're gonna take your rocker arm and you're gonna draw a perfect straight line from the center of both of these circles here. Put the poly lock just enough to keep it on. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna Pull this up and you're going to take another straight edge and you're going to try to make this as much of a 90 degree angle as you can while matching up both center lines. Once you've got that centered where you want it, you're going to, the best way to do this is to also draw a line on the top of the poly lock and then do however many turns you had for your equation, so mine was seven, just over seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll call that the point one part. So now take your adjustable push rod, get it in there, see how long you need your push rods, and that is it. So that is the proper way to measure your push rods, which can obviously cause you a lot of problems as it has for me if you don't do it correctly.
was so excited. So I went to my PO box for today for the first time and there was a ton of stuff. How cute is that? Phone case and a new car. That's so cool. Oh my god. Thanks to the OG Holly sponsor. Ooh, it's cookies. Thank you to everybody who sent something and I cannot wait to see the rest of your guys' stuff.